Hello, welcome everybody to another Facebook Friday, another Frilici Friday. We're here back in the craft room. You guys have to tell me if it's like too busy. I mean, it probably is. I don't know if it's like super distracting to have all this behind us or not, um, but I'm kind of loving being in here. It's kind of an easier setup for me. And um, with construction that I did in the kitchen area, it just, it's not quite as conducive to doing Facebook Lives out there any longer. So I'm Amy Ferlici. Hello and welcome. Hi, Susie. Hi, Trish. Thanks you guys so much for joining us today. Um, we are going to have lots and lots of fun. There's so much good stuff to show you guys. So I'm going to start with, uh, or by telling you, I guess, what we're going to play with today on Facebook Live when I do our demonstrations, we are going to use, this is the Kindest Expressions stamp set. And these are some of my favorite stamp sets with these big, bold, fun sentiments that, you know, kind of take a lot of the work out of your card making, I guess I would say, just because the sentiment, like, well, first of all, it takes up a lot of room on a card, right? And they're just, they're kind of just fun and different, like sending sunshine and rainbows. Well, there's a with sympathy, which we always need that, right? Unfortunately. Um, oh, happy day, which can mean lots of different things. Birthday, wedding, anniversary, um, and then a thanks so much. We got that glare there. There we go. So, and then we're also going to pair that with, let me grab this. And when I flip the camera down, I'll show you guys again. But this is called the Delightfully Eclectic Designer Series Paper. So if you can see, look at all of that beautiful patterned paper. And then you've got the backside here also. I will tell you guys, I think you'll be able to see it a little bit better. Um, <clears throat> like I said, when I flip the camera down, but this designer series paper along with I think pretty much all of the designer series paper in our uh, current annual catalog is on sale right now 15% off of every package of designer series paper through the end of the month which is next Friday June 30th so for example this is a package of it's a huge pack of paper four sheets of each of these 12 by 12 pieces so you get one of this pretty blue the pink and white stripe and so on you actually get four of each of these so you end up with 48 sheets of designer series paper in this pack it's normally $30 and then whatever 15% off of that is that's what you get right now so awesome pack of paper lots of fun um, can't wait to share the projects that we are going to make today um, with you so you'll, you'll really I think you'll fall in love with that paper too you know like with anything sometimes you look in the catalog it's one that totally did not catch my eye um, but then I got it and I'm like, oh, there's some really fun patterns in here. So lots of fun that we're going to have with that. Again, called the Delightfully Eclectic Designer Series Paper. So next, I want to welcome, we have a couple of new Inkspired stampers to our team. So congratulations to Teresa Hinchman and Jennifer Edley. I think, let me, not, yeah, Ledley, at Ledley, Jennifer Ledley. Uh, she is in Jamie's team. Um, so congratulations to both of you. You both took the plunge and got that awesome starter kit deal. So very excited for you. If you guys don't know about the starter kit deal, we have basically about a week. It ends at the end of June. So again, next Friday, June 30th is the last day to get the starter kit deal. I need to turn my fan on, which happens to be the little switch right here. So this can be very easy. So hopefully I know last time I was worried that it made like, um, it made things look funny. So hopefully it doesn't, but I'm like already I'm getting overheated. So I got to turn my fan on, but yes, I think I'm getting overheated because of this awesome, awesome deal. So starter kit deal, you get to pick $155 in product. You pay only $99 plus sales tax, the shipping, the 11% shipping fee is waived. So it's a super duper awesome deal, first of all, right? So if you love Stampin' Up, if you want to get a bunch of products, now's the time to do it with the starter kit. Then you get 20% off of everything that you order off after that. <clears throat> so you know, for example, if you've got this huge wish list in the annual catalog, now is the time. Get the starter kit, then you get your 20% discount on all of your orders after that. You become a member of our Inkspired Stampers team, which is an awesome group of ladies. I'm telling you guys, I'm going to show you in just a second. We had our team meeting this week on Tuesday, which is always the third Tuesday 
of every month. We do it right here live, like a group, like, you know, live meeting here in Alma. But then we also have a separate Inkspired Stampers Facebook group where um, we broadcast the live meeting on that Facebook group as well. So even if you're long distance, if you're thinking about getting the starter kit, it's an awesome deal right now. And we would love to have you become a part of our Inkspired Stampers team. Um, we have, so we do our group meetings the third Tuesday of every month. We do fun like creative challenges and business challenges. And these are not, um, like when I say business challenge, it might be something like if you wanted to kind of build some type of a business, but it doesn't, um, it doesn't necessarily have to be that. I know a lot of people say, oh, I don't want to run a business. I don't want to do Facebook lives. I don't want to do classes, which is totally fine. Um, a lot of people just get the starter kit to get that discount, but just kind of know that like opportunities are always there. And a lot of times they happen really very organically. Hi, Lisa. Hello. Welcome. You know, you're just kind of talking about how much fun you're having and your friends and family are like, well, I want to have fun too. I want to know what this is all about. So maybe you just start making cards and it kind of turns into like a card making class like you just kind of never never know um so yeah lisa where are you phillips where is phillips remind me you're saying hello from phillips so i'm curious to know where phillips is because i can't remember right now so hopefully you're having a great um summer weather day today in phillips as well um so let's see what else i have kind of a whole list of benefits for getting the starter kit so again you get that 20 percent discount another awesome thing is that you get sneak peeks of products that nobody else in terms of customers ah northern wisconsin all right it might be is it a little it's probably like perfect like temperature wise there right now uh yeah northern wisconsin i was just up north in like northern michigan last weekend and i think what did they say it was going to be high of like 68 degrees um, but it was sunny and like absolutely beautiful so 68 and sunny on the water felt like about 80 degrees honestly so yeah hopefully you're having great weather in northern wisconsin and phillips as well um okay so yes yeah, so back to you get you can pre-order product like the online exclusives that we offer demonstrators always get to get those before anybody else does sneak peeks of new catalogs new catalog product you kind of get like the behind the scenes um, look at everything right new friendships that's another awesome thing another awesome part about getting the starter kit is you can make lots of new friends through our inspired stampers group as well lots of great ladies um, and love to kind of share and create um, they're all together. 80 already. Awesome. I guess, right? Is that good or bad? I don't know. I like 80. <laughs> 80 is perfect. Any warmer than that, you never know, right? Um, let's see. Oh, we well, we have a demonstrator only website that you'll have access to. Um, and I kind of hesitate to say this, but there's the opportunity to earn cash bonuses and product rewards and incentive trips. Now that whole, they always make you like qualify. Like that's like, <clears throat> you have to work really, really hard to earn an incentive trip. It's not a normal in the course of like business of becoming a demonstrator. Most people, honestly, if you really are just using the discount, people always worry about worry about tax ramifications. Um, I don't want to say I'm super qualified in answering those things, but I will tell you, you know, if you are just buying and using your discount, you're not going to get a 1099 from Stampin' Up. That's the only, that's like the beginning of how you might have tax ramifications. Um, but you have to like start earning income based on um team member sales and that sort of thing to actually even get a 1099 so you don't have to worry about that in the beginning anyway um but yeah like so i'm kind of like digressing here but just so many great opportunities to um become a part of our team and so many great things that you can be a part of once you do that all of my um online class to go kits you can get those tutorials for free um the demo design dream team pdf tutorial that i'm a part of you can get that for free every month uh just so many great benefits i'm trying to see um oh actually you get discounted class to go kits also um so yeah just so many great benefits would love to have you think about getting the starter kit through me or any one of my inspired stampers team members we love to welcome new team members and like I said I'm going to show you now all the fun goodies um, that you could have seen at our team meeting um, on Tuesday so one thing that we do is make and take so every single month um, there are projects that are provided um, I'm kind of trying to get these organized here so 
you basically sign up. I give you kind of, you know, a window. It's about 10 days before the meeting. You sign up for the make and takes. If you're long distance, I mail them to you. Still struggling a little bit with the timing of getting products from Stampin' Up. I'm going to have to almost like back up to like two weeks before the RSVP date to get things ordered and here in time so I can get them shipped to you so you can have the make and takes that again I digress but basically you can do make and takes you can come to the meeting live and do the make and takes or I will mail them to you I show you you know if there are any like tips or tricks or anything that you need to know about the make and takes we go through those at the meeting and then once we are done with our live meeting then we actually do the make and takes so at home you could do the make and takes then or you can do them whenever you want basically so these particular make and takes were little um, gift card holders Think Thinking of like wedding and graduation season kind of happening right now. Um, these are the little, the 2023, 2025 in color treat bags. And this one we just kind of wrapped in half uh, or folded in half. And then we've got a little, just a little note card inside there that you could write your note. And then also obviously a gift card would fit perfectly inside of there also. We also use some of that herringbone ribbon. It's just a beautiful um, white ribbon. Here's another one, a little so happy to celebrate you. We use the layering leaves stamp set and the bow punch that coordinates with that stamp set as well. Um, here's a little thank you. And then again, that just kind of slips right inside there. Then we've got a best wishes with more of that pretty ribbon right and then i love that little lemon lolly tag on there also and then lastly we have this one that says sending hugs i kind of yeah there you can kind of see it through there now right this one you have to actually untie the bow to open it up and then there's more on the inside too but beautiful set of make and takes we do these every single month you always get like ten dollars worth of product in your make and takes um so love to kind of get um, fun product out to you guys as well. Then we do what I call a mystery project. So I will post um, kind of all of the dimensions, everything that you need to make a project, but I don't give you a picture of it. So that's like the mystery, right? So I always jokingly say like, okay, mystery solved, ladies. Here is our mystery project. So this is what we actually um, I created and then, like I said, gave the measurements. And the idea is that um, at home before the meeting or um, before like coming to the meeting or even doing it on Facebook Live, that you would put your mystery project, like all your parts and pieces together as I put this one together. And then it's kind of fun to see um, like what everyone came up with, like what their vision of what I was thinking of, you know, in terms of how it becomes reality. Hi, Bonnie. Hello. Thank you for sharing. Welcome, welcome. So this one uses um, some of the countryside corner um dies the biggest die in there and so that opens there and then that one's opens right there right and we use some of that um azure or azure however you want to say that that azure afternoon um ribbon the pretty blue ribbon so then i so that was the one i created originally and then um, while we were putting the mystery project together i changed up the dsp and then here's another example too of kind of same you know same layout but i i wanted to use some different designer series paper just to kind of feature that i think it's the bright and beautiful designer series paper so fun little thingy that we do what's really fun is either people make them with me like along with me at our meeting or they'll um, go home and do it later they kind of cheat right after they've already seen which is totally fine and then um, they'll post pictures of their mystery project on our inspired stampers facebook group as well so lots of great sharing is done over on that other facebook group too then in terms of even more sharing we do swapping so every single month people put what well, people any of my team members put swaps together they bring them to the meeting if you are long distance you can make swap cards mail them to me just make sure i get them before the third tuesday of the month and then i'll swap them i'll trade them out with everybody and mail the swaps back to you so you could get for example these were the swaps that um, the ladies created this month so and i think i don't have names on all of these but i'm pretty sure this was nancy ulick's card so beautiful with and i we're gonna i'm gonna show you more swaps in a few minutes because i can't even remember the name of that stamp set this one I'm, I'm pretty sure this was jenny boffman's um swap card as well then this one has a name and it was charlene yes this is charlene mog isn't that so cute the little holy guacamole what does it say holy guacamole it's your birthday and look at 
Beautiful, beautiful, right? And then, okay, this one I have to open. Actually, I'll show you this one first. Um, this one was Sunday Ostrander's Swap with the um, Cheerful Daisies Sweet. Love that paper and the stamp set and the dies. Okay, so then this one was Sharon Greening Swap. And I'm very fascinated with this. I'm going to have to kind of play around with this. You might see this um, card on a Facebook Live. So there's that, right? But then it actually... Am I going to be able, it opens up. Okay, so can you see this? Ah, isn't this so cool? And then it opens up on the inside and she's got a little, what does it say? Celebrate. Isn't that so cute? And it just folds. I'm probably not going to be able to do it like backwards on Facebook Live, but it essentially folds all up together um, to create that cute card. So that was kind of fun also. So you could participate in swapping as well. So again, love to have you get the starter kit. You have one week left to do that. $155 in product. Pick anything that you want. You just can't go over $155 plus sales tax, no shipping fee. If you have any questions, please reach out to me. You can post a message right on here. You can email me. You can text me. Whatever the best form of communication is for you, please let me know if you have any questions. I'm happy to put the starter kit order in for you if you're not comfortable doing that. So please let me know. I'd love to have you take advantage of that awesome deal and then get that 20% discount on everything you order after that. Okay, let me scoot these things out of the way. And what do I want to show you guys next? That was a lot of a lot of chit-chatting, right? Yes. Okay. Oh, I think we're ready to do our first drawing. Okay, quick sip of water here. Mm. Yes, right? Okay, I just, yeah. Ah, da, da, da. I kind of move things around, so I'm trying to make sure. Yeah, I think we're good. Okay, yeah, we are going to do our first drawing for the Tinsel Gems 4-pack. There are some Lemon Lime Twist, kind of a greeny yellow um, dot up above behind that little flap there. And then I can't remember the other colors, um, but they're beautiful, right, Lise? I love the Tinsel Gems because they're a little... Um, I don't know. I guess there's a little tinsel in them, right? I, I don't know. I don't know what to say in terms of how to describe them, but they're um, they're kind of sparkly, right? They have a little sparkle inside of them. Okay, so if you shared the last Facebook Live, Facebook Live video or if you signed up for my email list, your name is in the drawing right now to win the Tinsel Gems 4-pack. Okay, let's see. One lucky winner. Oops, I got a bunch of them stuck together. I always have to spread those out when I feel like a stack of them in there. I'm like, oh, I can't have that, right? Okay, <gasps> this Philomena Soso, congratulations. You are the winner of the Tinsel Gems 4-pack. I will get those sent out to you, Philomena. All right, oh, we're gonna just dump those right in there and get ready for the next drawing. Okay, on our next Facebook Live, we're gonna give away I'll get those straightened out. Maybe not quite, right? These are called the Adhesive Backed Solid Gems. So I'm going to say Lemon Lolly, Boho Blue, and maybe Pecan Pie. Um, and they're just some cute little um, gems, basically, in some fun colors there. So again, share this Facebook Live video right here. Sign up for my email list, and your name will go in the drawing to win um, these opaque, I'm sorry, the Adhesive Backed Solid Gems. Okay, <laughs> good stuff, good stuff. All right, um, oh, okay, so I wanna make sure everybody knows about, um, this is something I've done probably the past couple of summers, my super summer giveaway. Basically, it's a chance to get your name entered into a drawing all summer long. So all of June, July, and August, Get your name in the drawing to win some fabulous product. We will give away new product from the next uh, holiday mini catalog. I'll do that in September, so after, you know, the end of the summer, so after August 31st. Um, on that next Facebook Live, I will do a drawing for our Super Summer Giveaway. These are all the ways you can get your name into the Super Summer Giveaway, and many of you have already gotten your name into the drawing. So, for you get one entry for each event that you attend. So if you come to the Simple Beautiful Card class, the Scrapbook class, um, even if you do the Class to Go kits, uh, Bingo is coming up in July. I think it's at the end of the month. It's like the last Thursday in July, maybe the 27th, but don't, 
I think that's right. I think it might be the 27th. I'm going to say don't quote me on that. Um, what else? Any events that I have, basically, but they can be like online events or in-person events. One entry. Two entries for every $50 you spend. So that's at class or online. Two entries. This is like the super easy one, you guys. For every picture of a project you post right here to our Facebook group, the Gathering Inspiration Stamp Studio Facebook group, you have to use the hashtag Super Summer Giveaway when you post your project on our Facebook group, okay? But I love the sharing that comes from doing that. So any project that you make, snap a quick picture, upload it right here to our Facebook group, use that hashtag Super Summer Giveaway, and you get two entries into the drawing. So every single time you post, your name is gonna go into that drawing two times. What I'm gonna do is at the end of August, I'll do a search for anyone that used that hashtag on our Facebook group, so anytime in June, July, or August, and then your name will go in there two times for every single entry that you have on there. Also, if you bring a new uh, friend to class, you get two entries into the drawing. If you join a club, which also includes In Color Club, New Core Color Club, Paper Pumpkin Club, Simple Beautiful Card Class Club, Scrapbook Club, or the Class To Go Kit Club, you get three entries into the Super Summer Giveaway Drawing. Five entries if you buy the starter kit, you got that one more week to get the awesome deal, or five entries if you want to hold a private party or class, and we can do that over at the Peace Lutheran Church if you don't want to clean up your house. So let me know if you guys have any questions on that. I love, I'm like super excited. It's always fun to go through, like I do it at the end of the month, and anybody that came to a class, put an order in, did any of those things, put your names in the drawing, and then it's so fun in September to do that drawing and reward people for all of their um, good efforts in business during the summer. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay, so I'm so excited because I have a million swaps that I wanna show you guys, but I wanna turn the camera down, so I'm like, I feel like I'm kind of, you know, as always, chit-chatting quickly um, to get to that part, because I wanna get to flip the camera down very soon. But, okay, so in the meantime, we have one more drawing to do. This is the drawing if you order through me, right? Um, using the host code that I always give you, which I will do that in just a moment when we flip the camera down, you automatically get both of these projects that I demonstrated, these super duper cute little monkey cards. If you put an order in using the host code of at least $50, you definitely automatically get these two cards as a thank you from me. You also get to pick from the free embellishment for June, which are the 2022, 2024 in color pearls or the Demo Design Dream Team PDF Tutorial. Hi, Vina, how are you? This was my cute little project for the month of June. These were simple cards. It was supposed to be like stamps, ink, and paper. I think I cheated and used a punch too because I couldn't even like just do stamps, ink, and paper. No one called me out on it though, so that was good. Um, but yes, yeah, so you got simple stamping projects in here. So again, you can pick from either the free embellishment or the PDF tutorial. And your name is in the drawing to win the Bright's Designer Series paper pack. So this is a cute little six by six pack of DSP featuring all of our new Bright's colors. Well, not all, it's not, they're not all new. A couple of them are new, right? Okay, so one lucky winner will receive this Bright's Designer Series paper. And it goes to Miss Linda Golden. All right, congratulations, Linda. You are the winner of the Bright's Designer Series paper. So I will get that mailed out to you. And thank you so much for your order too. And I have to say truly, um, actually orders have been down a little bit lately. Um, so if you're thinking at all about ordering, I know you have your choice of demonstrators. Love for you to pick me as your demonstrator. Use that host code. That's a, a very easy way to get your order linked in through me. And then you get all these great um, freebies through my Facebook Live giveaway as well. So truly, like I, I always say this because I really, really do truly appreciate your order. So think of me when you're ordering. Would love to have you select me as your demonstrator um, when you put that order in. So thank you, ladies. And yes, Vina, congratulations to Miss Linda. Okay, so, oh, I do have it out. Okay, so I have it on order, but on our next Facebook Live, if you order through me, you're going to get the projects I'm going to demonstrate in just a little bit. You get the PDF tutorial or the free embellishment, and your name is going to go in the drawing to win, to show you in the catalog here, the Lasting Joy stamp set. I'm trying to make sure I've got it. There we go, right there. So Beautiful stamp set and great sentiments in here too. So I want to read these to you. Um, May the years ahead be filled with lasting joy. I'm sure that's where the name of the stamp set came from, right? I'm so thankful. I'm so sorry. Hoping for better days ahead. Thinking of you. 
Um, so there's like a, it just says always, but then down here you've got like in my heart, so it can kind of be like a builder stamp set also. Ooh, I missed your birthday. That's always a good one. We always need those belated birthday cards, don't we, right? Birthday wishes. Um, so let's see, you could say, I'm so thankful you're in my life. Um, maybe grateful or I'm so thankful for you. And then, oh, I'm so sorry you're going through this. So a great, um, and I love that mixed font too, right? Where you've got some cursive and some block letters. Um, so beautiful stamp set. You can kind of, sorry, I know I'm kind of rolling things around here, um, but you can see some projects made with that stamp set right there too. So again, the Lasting Joy stamp set is what we'll give away on our next Facebook Live if you order through me. Um, okay, I think we're ready. Yeah, we're gonna flip the camera down. And yep, yep, yep. <laughs> I keep kind of looking, just trying to like make sure I have everything. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, you know what I forgot to show you, but I'll show you that when I flip the camera down in just a sec. Okay, here we go. Yep, we're gonna do swaps and we're gonna do our stamping. Okay, I'm on track here. Oh, you know what I forgot to show you? Actually, $600 club prize. I was like, why is that ribbon sitting over there? So back to our team meeting. If um, any of my team members sell over $600 in a month, they go into what I call the $600 club, which essentially means they get a free goodie from me, but even better than that, they get cash. They get a, like a direct deposit into their bank account from Stampin' Up for um, additional kind of commission on their orders. So it's a great way to kind of highlight, try to get to that $600 mark in a month if you can, because you get free money from Stampin' Up. And then I give you a little goodie, which happened to be, this is the Lost Lagoon textured ribbon absolutely beautiful ribbon. Totally love this ribbon. I think it's going to be great. Um, I remember the year that Lost Lagoon was one of our end colors and they used it um, in holiday projects. So I'm really hoping this Lost Lagoon color with those pretty blues makes it into some paper maybe. Um, we can use this ribbon as well for holiday projects too. So hi Philomena, welcome, welcome. Okay, um, so let's see. I'm going to put this right over here. We are going to I think we're ready. Yep. Okay. So turn your heads away, flying through the air. Thank you for the share of the video too, Philomena. And we will, oh, you're going to see my, yeah. Okay. There's my fan, right? You probably saw that last time too though, didn't you? Okay. <clears throat> Flip that camera down. There we go. Okay. All right. So here's my host code for June, the DHMQM43T. All right, I also am going to show you haha, all of my swaps. Okay, so I'm going to try to stay organized here. I have my catalog. So on the back, I went through last night, tried to get myself organized so that I could show you. So for example, here are three swaps that I received. How are we going to do this? Let's move this over here maybe. And that, I'm thinking maybe I can show those right there. You can see the swaps, and then on one of these, I wrote my, <laughs> I wrote the page number. Hmm. Oh no, you know what? This one I didn't because it's like the very first um, in the catalog, right? Okay, so featuring this is the Beautiful Balloons Bundle Suite, basically the Bright and Beautiful Suite with the Designer Series paper as well. So aren't those great, right? I have so many ideas to share with you guys. Okay, so those are three of my swaps. Then we have, this is the Circle Saying stamp set, which is on page 17 right here. And then this one actually was from, oh, it doesn't say, but that's obviously in a different language. It looks maybe French to me. Um, I wonder which one that says, maybe warm hello. No, I don't know. <laughs> Thank you. I don't know. I'm not sure. Um, but this one says thank you, right? And she's got the little seashells. Super cute though, huh? Okay. Then we have, oh, this is kind of a fun one. And it's on page 20. So we're going to flip to page 20, which is actually over. That's not right. Did I flip past it? It's right around here. Maybe it's 22. That does say 20, doesn't it? Hmm. Okay. Man, I thought I was all together here. Well, I guess we'll come across it, huh? If not, hmm. Okay, well, it's definitely not page, there it is, page 28. Okay, here we go. So we have, this is the super cool stamp set with that little soda bottle. What does it say? 
Ooh, sweet cola. That's cute, right? And a little soft pretzel. Those are always yummy, right? With some strips of some of um, some of our new colors, like Pretty Peacock, um, and then some of our existing colors, like the pumpkin pie right there, too. So cool, huh? Okay, then we have, this one is on page 21. Okay, so we're going to flip back. I thought I had them all in order, but I gave myself the wrong page number. So this is actually really, really cool. The Seasonal Branches Bundle. Can you see all of the texture on those little? I wish this was a punch, which I guess that's why it's not a punch, because it wouldn't be able to give you all that texture, but just so cute, right? So there's the little branch stamp that she used, and then there was the thanks that she used, right, with that, uh, is it the painted texture embossing folder, I believe? Okay, next we have this super cute, right? The zoo, is it zany? I'm trying to remember the exact name of it. Here we go. Yeah, zany zoo. So the little stamp said, something great to celebrate you, exclamation point, and this paper, just so cute. Love, love, love that paper. And then she actually used some of the ribbon as well. The little, um, I think I used that on our class to go kits last month. This ribbon right here, it actually is the ribbon duo combo pack that I'm sure features petal pink and lemon lime twist ribbon. Okay, next ooh, we got a whole slew of these. And this is I think on page 63. Can you guys see you can't maybe see all those I'll scoot them over in just a sec once I flip to the page so this one aha uh -huh. yeah so this is the countryside in suite and i'll actually show you so this is a stamp that it's funny at our meeting they're like we think it looks like a rug which i guess it kind of does right these are the dies though and so this is kind of cool so she used all of these countryside corners dies layered one on top of the next and isn't that cool right it, it's funny because they almost Actually, you know what I think she did? I think she cut them. Wow, that was a lot of die cutting for, oops, she didn't put her name. Maybe it's on the inside. But I think what she did was she used like the largest and the second largest and just made that little outline and so on. And so they all like literally fit because there's not one stacked on top of each other. Those are fit like inside of each other. So very cool, huh? But again, using the Countryside Corners dies, not the designer series paper, but then all of these are a great feature of the designer series paper too and here's some of that ribbon I haven't used that yet this is like a um is it I think it's misty moonlight like a stitched ribbon isn't that here I am like checking it out myself beautiful huh right but this is some of the designer series paper you can see all the pretty paper in here also so super cute right love those just so many good ideas you guys okay oops I dropped that one on the floor okay now I gotta bend over <laughs> Okay, this one is on page 65 right here. This textured floral stamp set and then the textured floral dies as well. Isn't that beautiful? Oh my gosh, look at all the, yeah, I love. So there's this stamp right here and then she stamped that little guy on the inside there too. And then that one and that one, so cute. Such pretty colors, the dies, that little braided ribbon. Very, very, very pretty. Okay, next we have, this is on page 69, we have the Just My Type. This is cute, right? You hold the key to my heart with the little typewriter and the little piece of paper with the heart stamped on it. And then this is actually some of that designer series paper that we're going to be using that um, delightfully eclectic designer series paper, as is this too. There's some paper, it kind of almost looks like, um, hey Jamie, hello, how are you? Um, it looks kind of like, um, what, paper from school, school paper, <laughs> right? <laughs> legal, legal paper, legal pad paper. I'm like drawing a blank on what to call that. Okay, next on page 70, this is such a beautiful suite, right? This is the Earthen Elegance Suite. And then this is Nikki. Hello. Welcome. Welcome. Um, this is another beautiful, like, look at the texture in that designer series paper. And then this super cute, like the dies. Um, did she use? Yep. Here's the little thank you stamp from that stamp set also. But oh, so cool, huh? I love just kind of that. I guess, well, it's earth and elegance. It's very earthy. The look of the card is too, right? Okay, next we have a couple of, these cards are on page 78. So let's see, 
These are featuring this Let's Go Fishing suite. So we've got this cute card with just, it's designer series paper, so super simple. She actually has some designer series paper. Or no, that's the rope. The, what is that called? The Twisted Rope 3D Embossing Folder. It almost looks like designer series paper, but then you feel the texture on there with the little happy retirement, but just cute little examples of the designer series paper. And then here's another fun one. Good things come to those who wait with the little bobber right there too and in the water. So cute, huh? This must be, that must be that die right there. I haven't even, I don't have those yet, but that's so cool how it like, it's kind of swimming right in there. Love that. That's why you do swaps, right ladies? Because you see so many things that you have never seen before. Okay, next we have on page 84. This is the grassy grove. It's really um, the the grove dies, I would say, because there's the little deer and the tree. And then I don't know if she stamped that or if that's some designer series paper. And it says to a great guy, which we always need masculine cards, right? So that is awesome. Then, oh, this fun suite on page 86, the, well, the Stargazing Suite Collection, right? So you've got this little reach for the stars with that um, spaceship, right? And then the designer series paper. Isn't that cool? And the flames. Oh, I didn't notice those until just now. The flames kind of coming out there of the spaceship, right? Very, very cool. Next, we have, this one is on page 91. We have, um, oh, and actually we've got two of them. I'll pull both of these out, right? Okay, so this is the Crafting With You bundle. So here, where are the little the little flowers right there? Stamped. That's really pretty how she did that too because she stamped and then embossed it, right? And it says, you inspire me with the little scissors. Oh my gosh, that's so cute, right? So those are from the Crafting With You dies, right? The, the scissors, so, so, so cute. And then here's another one. I'm gonna say it's in French. Maybe this says you inspire me also because I feel like moi is me, right? I think, I think. She used the scissors there too. And then this is, what is that? Like a little crochet kind of, you guys have to tell me what that little wheel thing is. It's in the dies, in those crafting with you dies as well. So many cute, cute things, you guys. Okay, now this one, we're gonna flip to page 95. I know I'm going kind of quickly, but I was like, I gotta just show you guys all of these. So this is the inked and tiled suite. So again, beautiful uh, stamp set dies. Ooh, there's that Lost Lagoon bordered ribbon, the textured ribbon, and then the designer series paper. So here's an example. This is hello friend, right? So pretty. I love that. And then another one with more of the designer series paper, just a note. And then there is that ribbon. Beautiful, beautiful. Here's another one, very similar, the tones, right? The colors with a little happy birthday. Embroidery hoop, yes, thank you, Susie. Yes, that's what we meant to say, right? And then one more, another little thank you. And that's some of that Earthen Elegance Designer Series paper there too, but she used the stamp and a little thank you there also. And then some of the twine, some of our in-color twine right there and some of the little dots. Those are the dots that we're giving away if you share the Facebook Live video. Next time on Facebook Live. Okay, next on page 96, we have, this is the layering leaf stamp set. So this is actually the stamp set that we used on our make and takes, those cute little gift card holders um, that we had at our team meeting. Um, so you can see right here, another great example of the stamp set right here. And then the punch that coordinates with the little the little bow and the big bow right there. Also with the sending hogs, which is your sentiment right there, right? She did some sponging, very, very pretty, right? And then next one, we have a little a thinking of you with more. That's cool how she just kind of layered that over there, right? Beautiful. All right, we have just a couple more. So these, we're gonna flip to page 102 and look at the master, master excuse me, masterfully made sweet collection. And these all feature that masterfully made designer series paper, which is, when I saw it, I thought, oh, that's so busy. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. But then I've seen so many great projects made with it that I, I see what I can do with it now, right? So here's an example of one with that designer series paper. Beautiful, right? And you are so sweet. I didn't find that stamp set. I didn't look very hard. I just knew this paper was so pretty that I would kind of feature it and then here's another one as well. We actually made this card or something very similar to it at our Simple Beautiful Card class this month as well. 
Okay, let's see. Two more to show you guys, and then we're going to get to our stamping. But I love, you guys, just so many great ideas, right? This little stamped with love card. It says, I like you, so you get a card. <laughs> Isn't that cute, right? <laughs> with the little mailbox. So cute, right? Like a little vintage mailbox. And then lastly, where is this one? Oh, this one was, oh yeah, I see it now. I, I wanted to show you guys the dies because I think they're really cool and I didn't realize that we even had these. That's not right though. Maybe it's not one, 157, that's what it is. I, I'm trying to read my scribble. So it's this one right here, this gorgeously made set of dies. So here's that little stitching piece right here and then this big leafy kind of thing. And then she actually used some of our little um, brushed brass butterflies and some gold and maybe gold distressed designer series paper with that bow punch. But isn't that so pretty? Love that too. So hopefully you guys enjoyed those cards. All of those great ideas. So many beautiful products in our Stampin' Up! catalog right now and online. And don't forget, to, or if you order through me, which again, I truly appreciate. If you loved any of those swaps and want to order anything, make sure you use that host code right there when you order online to get all my freebies. Okay. All right, you guys, I think we are ready to do our stamping. I need another sip of water, though. So let me do that real quick. <laughs> okay. Where are my projects? Okay, we're going to show you. We're going to do this one first. Okay. Sorry, I'm over here like organizing my tubs. <laughs> it's just what I do. Okay, so here we go. Again, we are using, oh, I was going to show you the DSP again too. So the Kindest Expression stamp set. We're using that stamp, that thanks so much right there, right? And then that delightfully eclectic designer series paper. That's what I wanted to show you guys again before we, before I make a big mess on my table. I'm going to show you guys this paper again too because I think you can see a little bit better. When we go down there, right? So can you guys kind of get an idea of all the patterns? Here, what did I do? I had another slot card I was gonna show you guys. I don't know where it went. If I find it, oh yeah, it's right here actually. Using that pretty paper right there. I think this is so cute, isn't it? With the little thinking of you, isn't that awesome? Again, with this delightfully eclectic designer series paper. Okay, so that's one side. Again, four sheets of each of this paper pack, right? Here's that one that was like the legal pad of paper that I couldn't think of <laughs> before. The pretzels, I think that's pretty fun too. Kind of coordinates with that pretzel in that stamp set too, right? Some swans also. So lots of good paper in there, right? Again, four sheets of 12 different front and back patterns of paper, 48 sheets all together. Okay, so here we go. We're going to make this card right here. I'm going to scoot that out of the way. Oops, I'm going to scoot that one out of the way too. All right, so what do we need? Get all my goodies out here. Ooh, oh, yeah, I'll just show you guys this ribbon because it's like all over the place. This is, I don't even know the name of it, but it's like a three, like another, it's not duo because it's more than, it's three, not two, right? But so we have, I'm going to say bubble bath, lemon lolly, and azure afternoon. This ribbon, can you kind of see? It's like a little bit, it's sparkly. It's got a little like, can you see it maybe best on this one? A little silver stitching on the edge of each of them. Beautiful. It looks, I don't know, like sorbet or something too, I think. Very yummy. Looks yummy to me. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Let me give you some measurements. All right, are we in view? I do want to make sure of that too, right? Okay, so you guys can see everything. Okay, so here's our card base with our bubble bath card stock, okay? So this one started out with a full sheet of bubble bath cardstock. Along the 11 inch side, I actually cut it down so it's only nine and a half inches long, okay? And then along the eight and a half inch side, that's where I cut it at four and a quarter inches. Then I also scored it as usual at five and a half inches for our fold on our card, right? Okay, then I have a piece of, this is our basic white designer series paper layering in there, always using this. Uh, four by five and a quarter inches on that piece, okay? Then on that flap right there, we have a piece of basic white and our designer series paper. So basic white cardstock, three and a half by four and three quarters. And then our designer series paper, three and one quarter 
yeah, three and one quarter by three and a half. That's that cute little paper, right? Um, I will include all of the measurements, products that I used, item codes so that you can order. They'll all be on my blog this afternoon at gatheringinspiration.com in case you missed any of that. Okay, so that's going to go there. This is a little piece, another piece of bubble bath cardstock measuring two and a half by four and a half. And then I scored it at four inches just to make that little flap right there. And then that is going to actually go right there. And then I'll cover it up with my white piece so you won't even really see it there, okay? But then on this part of the flap right there, right, I have a piece of basic white cardstock, three and a half by two and one quarter, and the designer series paper, three and one quarter by two inches, okay? So let's do, we only have that little bit of stamping to do. So we're going to stamp, oh, thank you, Nikki, she's got it for me, the three eight inch sheer ribbon combo. Oh, it is still called a combo pack. No, I was saying dual, wasn't I? Yeah, so it is a combo pack, right? Okay, 3 8 inch sheer ribbon combo pack. Absolutely beautiful ribbon. Thank you, Nikki. <laughs> you guys are always such a great like reference, library reference for me, which I appreciate. Okay, so we are going to do our stamping right here on the basic white. Actually, we're going to do this stamping too, aren't we? We're going to do our little flowers right there. And those are from the Sentimental Park stamp set, just that little flower. I've used that so many times. I just love like th that look, I guess, of that little flower. So let's do that first. We're going to stamp right on our basic white. I'm going to scoot this guy right over here. Okay, so we're going to just stamp... A couple flowers right on the corner there, right? And our bubble bath ink. And then we are going to grab, this is Berry Burst ink. Again, always the beauty of Stampin' Up, right? We have um, Berry Burst on that little dot right inside there. And then actually Fresh Freesia and Bubble Bath are on those little flowers right there. And they do list all of the colors that are featured on our designer series paper on our website at stampinup.com, in the catalog, and on the back of your paper pack. So you never even have to worry about what color goes with what color. It's funny because at our team meeting, um, one of my team members Sunday was talking about somewhere that she she used to get together with people and like she it was her job to help people match colors because I think, you know, they probably just had a bunch of different products. Um, and so it was always this, well, what color is that? What color works better with that green or that pink or that bright pink? And now there's no, like, there's no job anymore. It's just so easy. You just know Stampin' Up! only uses their colors and everything matches. So it's super, like, easy peasy. One of the most beautiful things about Stampin' Up! Okay. Next, we are going to use, these are called the Something Fancy Dies. We're going to use this die right here. You can see the rest of them. They're a little askew on here, right? But we've got lots of labels. These came out, I'm pretty sure, with our last spring catalog. And they have carried over, which I'm very thankful for. Because any of these labely kind of dies are always very handy. Okay. All right. Cranking that through, super simple and easy. There, just fits inside there, right? Okay. All right, we're gonna scoot that baby out of the way and we can put our card together now, ladies. All right, so how's everybody doing? You guys are pretty quiet today. Everybody ready for a good summer weekend? Hopefully, I'm gonna meet a friend, go bike riding together tomorrow. I'm excited about that. This is a friend I haven't seen in a little while and she's been going through some hard times and so I'm excited to see her and give her a big hug and spend some time together and catch up a little bit. Okay all right so these are going to go on the outside flap so we're running it and tipping it back right. We're going to put this guy right on here like that. Actually we can put this one uh, nope, actually we can't. I think I did this when I was making the card too and remembered, oh no. Okay, so what I'm going to do is actually, mm -mm -mm. yeah, so we're going to add adhesive right on this flap right here, okay? And then we are going to do, 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 
how did I do this? Isn't that funny? I'm trying to, I'm like racking my brain because this kind of goes, maybe we'll do this. We're going to put that, kind of adhere that down. And then this kind of tucks in right behind here. But the thing is you can't shove it like right up against there because then you won't be able to kind of close that flap. So let's try that if we don't press too hard. Okay, I feel like that looks a little bit crooked actually. <laughs> I need my glasses. I am realizing like I am, <laughs> I'm getting blind. I think you guys, I think I need for real glasses. I've been kind of using the, um, my readers and somehow <laughs> they're not doing it for me the way they, <laughs> they used to. So God darn it. Okay, there we go. There we go. All right, so we got that one. We got that one. Now we can put these on this piece right here, right? Okay. Oh, it's so cute. This this paper is like dainty, I think. Do you think so? I, I just really, really like it a lot. Okay, so now to kind of finish our card off, right? Because that's super cute, just like that, right? Now we're going to add our little, thanks so much. We're going to put some dimensionals behind those things, right? Just toss those right in my little tub over here, less cleaning up for later. Kind of like that. Okay, that's gonna lay right on there. Now we're gonna grab our pretty, our bubble bath ribbon, but take note of the other beautiful colors there too while I am tying my bow. Just, I don't know, there's something about this ribbon that I think is so pretty. Okay, making our bow, kind of pulling that tight there. All right, I'm gonna grab my scissors. Oops, sorry, I kind of bonked things there, didn't I? All right, what do I need, a glue dot? Those are right there, right within reach. Very happy about some of the setup. Here we go, I did get that, right? Okay, we're gonna put that right on there, right? I'm gonna trim that, I want that angle to go that way like that. Okay, and then we have some of these are, I think this is the Tinsel Gems, the three pack coming in Misty Moonlight, Fresh Freesia, and Lost Lagoon, right? Misty Moonlight, Fresh Freesia, and Lost Lagoon. So we're gonna use these Fresh Freesia. Yes, they are so soft, aren't they, Philomena? That is exactly it. So just kind of soft and dainty. Okay, we're gonna put one little guy right there. And I think I did, yeah, I should be using my, I still like to use my paper snips. Sometimes I use my fingers though. And then I did one more right up. Um, I think I did it right on there. Oops, <laughs> how did that work for me, huh? Uh-huh, right on there, there we go. So just a sprinkle of a little bit of glitter on there too with those little tinsel gems three pack. These tinsel gems make me happy. Thank you, Nikki. I'm glad you like that. I know I th it's a very, you're right. It's a very cute card, right? Thanks so much. When you love to receive that card, right? As a little thank you from someone. I know I sure would. Okay, let's see. We're gonna scoot these things right over here. Oh, we gotta get, we'll get rid of the ribbon. We're done with that for now, but don't forget about it. Something you definitely are gonna wanna put on your order because it's so cute. And I thought, okay, we're gonna clean these off real quick too. So chamois is another great thing. The Simply Chamois, if you don't have one of these, magically cleans your stamps right there. Everything's ready to go. So I can just toss those right in my little tote and when I'm ready to make more cards not getting ink all over everything, right? Which I love. Okay, next card, ladies, let me show you. Okay, this one is super duper cute too, I think. Okay, oops, you don't wanna see that hole. Yeah, here I am. So this is what I put everything in, my little tote here, um, which probably isn't really a big deal if I show you guys that. I don't know why, they're not, they're not super cute, um, but they're very functional. I have like a million of them, and they all stack up together, so. Anyway, here we go. This is the next card that we're gonna make, this cute little, oh, happy day. And then it opens up and they're on the inside, right? Oh, so cute, right? But again, that paper. So it's just so, I keep saying this, right? But so easy. If you find a cute stamp set, so here's our kindest expression stamp set with our little, oh, happy day. Pair it with some designer series paper that kind of fits the mood, right? Like this super cute little 
excuse me, like flowery tulipy paper works perfect with the oh happy day sentiment, right? And then I loved that blue, that Knight of Navy, the bordered ribbon. Yes. And fun folds. You're right. Yes. Just a simple, simple, simple fun fold on there as well. Okay. We also used, I'll just point that out too. So this layering leaves stamp set, that's what I used on the inside right there too, because I was trying to find something. I didn't have a tulip, um, but I thought, oh, that those little, the stems, right, kind of look like those leaves, I guess, right? Here with, just say yes, okay, that'll make me feel better. <laughs> okay, all right, so we got a couple stamps. We're gonna get all of our stuff here. Okay, so doo -doo -doo -doo. we're gonna start again, bubble bath cardstock. We have our full piece of cardstock, eight and a half by 11. So along the, this is the eight and a half inch side, we cut it at four and a quarter inches. And then along this 11 inch side, we scored it at two and three quarters. And I just flipped it around and scored it at two and three quarters again, which actually comes out to be eight and one quarter. So two and three quarters on each end, right? So then it folds together just like that, right? Okay, then we have two pieces of Knight of Navy cardstock that measure two and a half by four inches, and then our designer series paper that measures two and one quarter by three and three quarters. And those are just gonna layer right on those pieces. These are just a couple of extra pieces of cardstock to do our stamping and die cutting right there in bubble bath and basic white. And then on the inside, I layered four by five and a quarter Knight of Navy. I'm gonna go right inside there. And then our basic white, three, excuse me, three and three quarters by five. And then that's gonna layer right inside there, okay? So let's do our stamping. We are going to, so on the inside and on this white piece, and we'll scoot these guys all over here, right? Okay, I'm gonna grab my little scrap paper because we're gonna stamp these little leaves. I'm gonna do that. And I think I use Misty Moonlight, okay? So that's gonna go right there. We're gonna keep this Misty Moonlight open because then I'm gonna stamp, oh, happy day. Oops, there, I'm not sure where. <laughs> I'm like, I keep looking at it, but not like looking at where you guys are seeing it on camera. So hopefully you've seen most of what I've done here. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do that right about there. Press firmly, I'm not wiggling or rocking though, just straight down and straight up when you stamp, okay? Um, we are gonna just clean these guys right now. Get them out of the way, okay? So again, my little Simply Chamois. And if you don't get it all, you might have to kinda, you know, lift it up and kinda get into the cracks and things. That really helps, okay? Sometimes I can do it right in the case and sometimes I have to kinda, if I was aggressively stamping or inking, which I might have been a little bit. There we go, okay, perfect. So yeah, if you don't have the Simply Chamois, I don't know what you're waiting for because it's fabulous. Okay, I'm gonna scoot these guys out of the way. Let's do that little bit of die cutting. We have both of these pieces right here that we need to do our die cutting with those labels. With what's our, this is our, well here, I've gotta pull these out so I can read it. This is called the Nested Essentials Die Pack. So these are the two largest in kind of that rectangular shape. We've got some kind of flagged images and then, I don't know, whatever you want to call those, but, and they're all stitched too. That's the cool part about them. Okay, so here, we're going to scoot those there. We have our die cutting machine again. Okay. All right, we've got that one. So the bigger one goes on the bubble bath, the smaller one, and it kind of just fits around our oh happy day sentiment. Okay, that looks good. Okay, we're cranking it through here. I'm gonna show you those in just a sec once I, let's get these things out of the way and then I'll show you. Actually, we'll get this out of the way too. And I'll show you the stitching on these because I think it's pretty cool. Okay, can you see, yeah, can just see the stitching around the edge of those and then that's gonna layer right on top of there, right? 
super duper cute. So, so simple though, right guys? There's nothing, you know, super fancy or difficult, but obviously they're just so cute. Simple stamping is kind of where it's at. Did I stamp? I did. Yeah. Okay. I was trying to remember. Did I do that or not? Okay. I'm looking. I can see that red in there. I'm like, oh, I hope it doesn't run out. So if I'm using less adhesive than I normally would, that is why. Because I, I'm going to hope that it doesn't run out before we finish this card. If it does, then we'll have to refill it but we shall see, right? Okay, so we're gonna run it and tip it back. I finally know how to use my stamp and seal, right? Okay, let's grab this piece. Okay, so we're gonna put one. Look at those little, I think they're tulips, right ladies? Aren't those so cute? Look at that paper, just so stinking cute. Okay, and then this one is going to layer right on there. Then we are gonna put this basic white piece is gonna go on our Knight of Navy piece. And you can see how pretty the DSP is with like the Misty Moonlight and Knight of Navy, like the Misty Moonlight is the background and then the, the leaves uh, branches are in Knight of Navy. Very pretty. And then the soft, the soft uh, bubble bath and basic white, and I think it's actually crushed curry is the other little yellow on there too. Okay, so we're gonna just add some adhesive right there on that side, and I think I did it, ladies. Okay, so that is gonna go right about there. Okay, now we are going to take our, yep, this is the Knight of Navy, I think it's a bordered, yep, bordered ribbon, okay. And, oops, kind of flinging that around. All right, we are going to tie a little bow here. It's always on the wrong side for me somehow when I'm <laughs> when I'm trying to tie it. I'm trying to keep it tight too because I did was having a little bit of an issue, but I think it's because I wasn't keeping my knot tight enough. We'll see if I can get it. As long as there's a little piece to pull on, I see. I didn't I didn't give myself very much room on that end, did I? Eh, I'm gonna make a littler bow on this one. How about that? Okay. Do, do, do. Yeah, you can. I tend to kind of play with these a little bit. There we go. That's going to work just fine. There. Okay. I think we're good. You can futz with this for forever. Every time I pull it, then it loosens up. So then I got to tighten it back up and then it moves. <laughs> yeah, we could be here all day with this, huh? All right. We get the idea, right? Our little. You could play with that more, yeah. Do that later, right? Okay, super duper cute. Oh, happy day. And then I had to add a few gems, ladies. So this is that Tinsel Gems four pack. Ooh, I have my cheat sheet right here. Pretty Peacock, Blueberry Bushel, Berry Burst, and Lemon Lime Twist. So I only have a couple Lemon Lime Twists. There's the Berry Burst, Blueberry Bushel, and Pretty Peacock. So we're gonna use actually the Blueberry Bushel. Those blues, I think you can kind of cheat with a little bit. I put one, like the big one went right on the bottom of the little exclamation point, And then this guy kind of went right beside it right there. So there we go, ladies. We have both of our super duper cute little projects made again with that kindest expressions stamp set. And then that delightfully eclectic designer series paper. Where's my other project? Oh, it's way over here. Okay. <laughs> Let me get that one back out for you guys too so you can enjoy that one as well. And so don't forget if you love these projects and would like to recreate them or if you want to get them for free, right, I can definitely send you those free with your $50 online order. You get one of each of these projects. You get your name entered into the drawing. Oh, to win the, what was it called? The Lasting Joy stamp set. And your name is in the drawing to win. And where did that go? I moved everything like all out of the way. Well, you get the free embellishment, the 2022-2024 in-color pearls, or the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial. So thank you guys so very much for hanging out with me. I hope these cards inspired you today. And I hope you have a great day and a great weekend. And thank you for all of um, your thank yous um, and 
appreciating these cards. So, <laughs> hey, Nance, you're, yeah, you are signing on late. I'm just about ready to sign off. So have a great weekend. Hope everybody's doing well and get in your craft room and play and have some fun. All right. Bye, ladies. Thank you.